Grinder Man. Grinder Man 2. My arm hurts. Mm. Mm. Hello, my needle drops. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd, and we're going to do an album review. Grinder Man 2. Grinder Man is a band fronted by singer songwriter Nick Cave, one of rock's most essential personalities. If dark, eccentric music with a lot of poetry, maybe think Lou Reed but more evil, is your thing, then Nick Cave's work with the Bad Seeds is an absolute must. And if you're into music that's very, very noisy and experimental, I would go as far back as to listen to his work with The Birthday Party. Grinder Man is Nick Cave's latest project, and what makes this one different from all of his others? Well, in Grinder Man there are more guitar-based songs, but I would say even though that is the case, there are a lot of similarities with the Bad Seeds, which isn't surprising since every member of Grinder Man is in Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. But on this LP, the band goes further to create a fine line and make Grinder Man really its own separate thing, morphing it into this safe haven where Nick Cave can kind of just explore very garagey very bluesy rock music. And let's say as a result Nick Cave is uh, a lot less romantic in his songwriting, working straight from the gut. He is dirty. He is filthy. He is disgusting on this album. A parental advisory sticker emblem is simply not enough to do the material on this album justice. I mean, if this album were a movie, it would be rated R for violence, nudity, sex, 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 sexual language, and sex. The LP opens up with a track about two brothers who I think are murderers and they're on the run from the cops. It's a perfect beginning to this album. Couldn't have picked a better one, guys. Mm -hmm. And I love how badass and simplistic the production is. It's really raw, really fuzzy, distorted. It sounds like a lot of classic old guitar fuzz boxes are being used throughout this thing. But not every track is produced the same exact way. And the following track, not one of my favorites, it's titled Worm Tamer. And yes, that title is as suggestive as it sounds. Worm Tamer has all these dissonant strings and horns and guitars playing in the background throughout the track. It's really kind of a, a mind f In terms of sound and songwriting, there's something clever here to listen to. Another highlight for me is the song Kitchenette, which is about a guy just trying to seduce a woman away from her husband, kind of critiquing all of the stuff that he's bought her. It's also got a really nice lusty bass line in the background too. Overall the band is shooting for the same target but for me somehow they've kind of ended up with less bullseyes than the last album. For example Heathen Child is really not one of the best lyrical moments on this album and displays a, a real issue with this LP. Nick Cave repeats himself a lot and he really falls back on the word baby too many times. The track What I Know actually kind of feels a little bit like filler with how uneventful and unfinished it is. And the song Evil feels a little unfinished in comparison to its musical companions on this album also. But all of that aside, the personality, the delivery, what exactly is going on with this album, it's extremely original. It's unlike anything else you're going to hear that was put out this year. This thing is just a bastard of an album. It's the equivalent of spending a few hours with a drunk, womanizing, mean, old dude who has a lot of mood swings, an anger management problem. It's something that you would try for the experience. And when you do it, you know that every moment with this guy isn't going to be the best and the brightest. There are going to be those parts where you're in there, wow, I'm so happy I did this. I'm so happy I spent the time to do this. But then again, there is that element of danger in there. There is that element where, hmm, well, maybe this guy isn't always cracked up to be. I think I'm feeling a decent, decent seven. Certainly not as shocking as Grinder Man's debut LP, but if you're kind of in the market for more of the same, bam. But let me know what you're thinking about this thing. Do you like Grinder Man? Do you hate Grinder Man? And what do you think of this new album? Hmm? How would you score it? 
Anthony Fantano, Nick Cave, Grinderman 2, Forever. <laughs>